What's going on guys? It's Dime and in today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different. This is just kind of a fun little project I wanted to do. I saw someone in a Facebook page I'm in, a axe page. Someone was making little miniature axes and I thought it looked pretty cool and sounded like a fun project so that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be making it out of the end of this railroad spike, going to be drilling a hole and filing it for the eye of the axe and then grinding it down to shape. I already got my little handle drawn out on this piece of wood, going to be carving that out and burnishing and oiling it and everything. Going to be making a tiny little leather cover for it, but yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Let's get to it. I just got this clamped down. We're going to start with drilling this hole in case something happens, the metal cracks or anything. Uh, not too far into the work. I'm going to use some rim oil for my lubrication to drill this hole. And go just nice and slow with it. I already got a, used my automatic center punch. Got a little hole started there so this drill bit won't walk. Hopefully. It's gonna take a minute. Y'all can see I'm getting through there. I'll get back to y'all when this hole's drilled. All right, got that hole drilled through there. I got to stick a needle file in there and adjust it, the shape so it's not just a circle. And then we'll be grinding everything down. But uh, first, before we do that, because I gotta grind this with my angle grinder and stuff, we're gonna go ahead and skip to the uh, the handle while we're in here get to this all right I have my outline drawn on this piece of wood I'm just gonna take this form one rasp and file we're gonna rasp it down to just about those lines and then we'll worry about shaping it more I'm just getting it down to the general outline got the rough shape done now I got to round everything out make it more to shape we got to file this eye to make it you know more of the shape of an eye and not just a circle drilled out so that the handle wouldn't spin in there that's what we're gonna do next I'm gonna get this rounded out get that eye to shape try and get this fitted to it and then we'll worry about cutting the axe head out of that railroad spike. guys can see what I'm doing I'm just knocking all these corners off getting it rounded getting it generally to shape we'll do refining with sandpaper and take a lot more time but you see what I'm doing I'm gonna get this shaped out a little bit more and I'll get back to y'all here in a minute You all can see how that's going. Got it rounded out, got it to shape. I gotta work on the eye of it. And it's still a little too round for me. I'm gonna try and flatten it a little more. But got that general shape there. Pretty happy with that. I gotta work on getting the shelf made for the 
I don't know what you'd call it, the part that goes into the eye of the axe. I gotta get that to shape. I gotta, still gotta shape this eye, and that's when I'll try and fit that to it. Yeah, you can see where we're going with this. I have a little axe right there. All right, now I gotta get to getting this eye shaped out a little bit more. I'm gonna be using this little chainsaw file and just going at it. It's gonna take a while. You all can see I got that oblong a little bit, taking a while. Got this handle, now I'm going to try and shape it to fit in there. Get a good fit on it. Let's do that. Gonna be a little bit with my Mora knife and then uh, the rest of it will be done with sandpaper. Try and get a tight fit on it. I am going to be splitting this and wedging it like you would with a full size axe. So, it ain't got to be a perfectly tight fit because that wedge will expand it a little bit. But we're going to see what we can do. I'm going to mark the depth on it real quick. Now I'm going to get to shaving this thing down. Go as slow as I can, not take off too much at a time. Just nice and slow with it. All right, I got this fit pretty well in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the uh, the slit for the wedge to go in. Using, because it's gotta be really thin, I'm gonna be using this uh, coping saw to do it. I'm gonna get that done. And then I'm gonna go ahead and burnish and oil this handle and then we'll get her attached to this once I get this cut out and more to shape with a grinder. Alright y'all, I got that cut out for the wedge to go in there. It all fits together nice. There's room for the wedge. I'm going to wait to do that until the axe head's done. I'm just shaping everything. But what we can do is go ahead and burnish and oil this handle. Since it's such a small handle, I'm going to have to take it really slow. I don't want it all just to be charred black. I want there to be some color from the wood in there. So I'm going to be using a really light flame.
Now I'm going to touch it all with some 400 grit sandpaper, go over it, and then we'll oil it up. See how this handle turned out. Get some oil on this. Looks pretty good right there. I like that. And this wood is just uh, that same wood I've been using for a bunch of projects. Some maple I had cut down last year and dried out. Let this oil soak in. I'll get back to y'all when we're uh, grinding on that axe head. I think that looks pretty good. I like it. Alright y'all. We gotta grind this down to shape. I'm gonna get this clamp down and we'll get to it. And don't forget when you're grinding on metal. Make sure to protect your eyes, ears, and lungs. Very important. Don't want to get silicosis from breathing in a bunch of metal. Only get one set of ears and eyes, so it's worth protecting those as well. But uh, anyway, let's get to it. Pretty much got this to shape. It's not perfect. Wasn't expecting it to be though. Now I gotta cut it off and then we'll finish it up inside on the file. Got it cut off there. Definitely gonna have some finish work to do, but we're getting there. I'll see y'all back inside. All right, y'all. I got this little axe head zip tied to this to give me something to grab onto. I'm gonna use a, uh, a sanding wheel on my little Dremel. I'm going to carve these corners down. Shape it more like... Something more like that. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to take those corners off. Make it not triangular like that.
All right, see that shaping done on the back pretty well. I'm gonna go around those edges and kind of round them off a little bit with that grinder again, or with my little Dremel. And I'm gonna clean up all the surfaces, get them all to one consistent color. Cause some of it's got some heat uh, tarnishing from grinding it earlier, cutting it off. I'm gonna get everything consistent, clean everything up a little bit more, and I'll get back to y'all in a minute. Alright, got this axe head pretty well to shape. I'm happy with it. Happy enough. It's not perfect, but it'll work for this. Got my little handle here. Let's see how it all looks together. Get it lined up with it. There we go. It's not bad looking. It's not perfect, but I like it. Fun little project. Now we're gonna use some Gorilla Glue and glue in this little wedge, tap it in there. And then once that's done, I think I'm gonna, cause I don't know if I wanna just have this as a little like thing to set around somewhere, or if I wanna like put this eyelet I made out of some copper wire Put that in the top and be able to have that and be like a necklace type thing or something or a keychain i think that'd be cool now i'm also trying to decide which end would be better it's like this would be better for a keychain but this would be better for like a necklace type deal i don't know we'll see we'll get the wedge put in and glued in and we'll think about that in a minute let's get to this be using some Gorilla wood glue. Make sure this handle's on straight how I want it. Then we're gonna tap this in with my little little rubber mallet. This excess glue wiped off, and then we'll let this dry. And then we'll cut off that excess, everything that's sticking proud of the axe head. And we'll see how this all looks in the end. Alright, I'll get back to y'all when this dries. Alright, I got the that cut down flush. Now I'm going to be drilling a hole to put this eyelet in. Uh, I am going to put it in the top. I'm going to use this as more of a, like a pendant than like a keychain. So I'm going to be putting the eyelet on the top. I got my drill bit marked out with some tape for my depth. I'm going to go ahead and drill it out. 
this drill bit's just slightly thinner than my eyelet so that it's got some pressure on it and I'm going to be epoxying it also. Alright, got that hole drilled out in there. I'm going to be putting some epoxy on this and then tapping it in there. That will also act as like a metal wedge for the axe head. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to use some E6000 to secure that. And tap this in with that rubber mallet. Alright, got that on there. Make sure it's square to where I want it. I'm going to call that good. I'm going to get all this extra epoxy cleaned off here and I'll get back to y'all in a second with the finished product. Get a piece of 325 cord put through this eyelet. Alright y'all, that's a complete build. Making a little axe, mini axe necklace pin net. There's some 325 cord right here. It's like a, you know, a smaller version of 550 paracord. There it is. Let me know what you all think of the project down in the comments below, how you like it. Don't forget to uh, like the video if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. And share it with family or friend if you think they might. Yeah, this has been Dime. Thank you all for watching.